Now at 1030, a community comes together to remember a local activist and pastor who was killed by a hit and run driver while delivering presents to children on Christmas Eve. 62 year old Trina Newman Townsend was struck as she stepped off a curb at 88th and Broadway in South LA. She was left to die in the street as her three foster children looked on. Tonight, members of Newman's community held a vigil in her honor. KTLA's Chris Wolf was there for the somber tribute. Trina, Trina. Grief, hope, candles, pictures, prayers. This was a candlelight vigil for a beloved individual whose body is gone, but whose spirit continues to fill the streets of South LA, according to those who knew her well. She was 62-year-old Trina Newman Townsend, a community activist, leader, pastor, drug rehabilitation counselor, wife, mother, foster parent, and so much more. In a horrific twist of fate on Christmas Eve, Townsend was delivering gifts for neighborhood children, apparently loading them into her car, when police say another car slammed into her and the driver kept going. The collision happened at 88th Street and Broadway. Let's love each other and appreciate each other while we're alive and doing things for the community, for each other. The crime scene became a point of connection for hundreds of people Thursday night. She was all about making sure that everybody that went down, that they knew that she, they could get back up. Male, female, whatever the case might be, they didn't have to stay down. That's who she really was. She was loved. She gave out her own love. It's a lot. Um, only thing I just really got to say is whoever did this to my sister, just turn yourself in. That's all we ask. You see all the people out here? You know, she had a heart of, heart of gold, man. And she was an angel. She was one of a kind. Those close to the family tell me that Trina's 12-year-old niece, Jamisha Newman, was killed in a house fire in Whittier back in 2012. So this family has experienced its share of tragedy. Anyone with information about this case should contact the LAPD. In South LA, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.